something that we're going to look at critically. And we are off. KCC in the yellow. Now, Fred Gift gets the ball away, looking for Travis Mutiawa. Sports Club Villa looking to capitalize with a counter attack, getting the ball in. Saddam Masereka gets a chance here. What is the nudge? Set to be taken by Oguang Oscar. Well, he's equally lethal up front as well, and he could get a chance to prove that here. Hassan Jarua crosses the ball in, could punch away from the goalkeeper, Martin. This is elder brother Bashir. Right. Corner from Gift Ali. Brought in, headed here, and appeals for a penalty. The referee, William Oloya. A handball, as it intended, of Gavin Chizito Mugwe. I don't think he knew anything about it. And gives the ball straight back to Majwega Bryan. Crosses the ball in. Intended, that hits the crosswalk. And the ball goes away. A good attempt there from KCC. Somehow, that stole the fact. Might have caused uh, some extra pain there to Martin Senko, too, that we did not foresee. Decent cross. Beautiful header from Rogers Mato. Struck the upright. Nearly, nearly got KCC to the front. Yeah, that was a very good delivery there by Yas away. And ultimately cleared out of the defensive lines at a first time shot rising. Looks like he took a brush off there, but the referee says that will be a goal kick. You can see that KCC are really mounting more pressure on this SA Villa back line and on the team. And when you see as they try to play out their gift, Again, just loses position. I just don't think that you can play that ball. For the moment, they do have some work to do on the defensive line as there's a breakthrough here for the Casasiro boys into the box area. Goalkeeper Martin Senko towing. Casually gives it to Joseph Kafumbe. Villa have that patch into always trying to take on one more man, take on one extra player. Salim Abdallah gets the ball through. A shot in here and spammed away. Isaac Ogwang still getting onto the ball. And for the moment, KCC, the most wasteful lack of a better word, most wasteful player for Villa today. As Joseph Kafumbe is left trailing in the wake, a chance here for KCC once again, and they cannot put the ball to the back of the net. Wanga Neymar, the last frustration will be boiling over the fans. Away with it there, Joseph Kafumbe left trailing in the wake, started his run late, and by the time he made his decision to chase, he was totally trailing. The defense split open. For a moment there, it looked like the pathway to heaven had just opened up for KCC. But keeping his eye off the ball, Luanga Neymar, for the moment. And uh, all right, this is something. There's a couple of uh, instances here that come through as they continue to attack here. Rogers Mato gets the ball set in, looking for the shot, and the goalkeeper, Martin Senkoto, picks up the ball. I think those are questions that may pop up later on. If that had led up, led up to a goal, those would have been questions that would have been brought into very... Get to use them. Majwega whips in a ball. And that... This out on his right, chooses to go to Isaac Oguang in a tight spot. Oguang battling his way, Oguang brought to the ground. And the referee, it's interesting what the referee does say. Is that a penalty? Yes, it is. Uh, Mohindo. They will appeal their case, but the referee's mind is made up. Benson Mohindo drew the markers, tried to rally his way through, and ultimately brought to the ground. Oloya pointed straight to the spot. And Benjamin Ochan's worst nightmare just came to fruition. In the death, on the night. Mohindo from the spot sends it into the back of the net. And the Gogos are backing it at the death. They in this particular one. 1-1 one, one between Villa and KCC. I think the attitude of Benson will see. He, he, he decided that he needed to seize the opportunity. He has not been starting games. What? Twisting and turning. Player goes to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I know you well, well, when you bring it to that kind of uh, positioning, Oloya remembers that.